Hi folks, welcome to another beer review with Added Washing Machine. Um, it's a glorious day today, sweating my bollocks off. Um, having a barbecue today, having a few people around, just need to go to the shop to pick a few bits up. And while I'm waiting to get picked up, I thought I'd crack open a beer. And uh, feeling not delicate, but a little bit sensitive after a uh, Saturday session at the Craft Beer Expo in Liverpool. Fantastic festival, some great beers, including um, Sierra Nevada Hotman on keg. My god, what a beer! Absolutely sweltering. Um, it was hotter and muggier in the actual like main beer tent than it was outside, and very, very surprised that I didn't get burnt and only had like factor 20 on. So, thank you, pollution for helping me. So today we're going over to Track and this is a can of the Change to Breathe IPA, brewed with Citra, Citra Cryo and Strata, 6.5% ABV. What a wonderful hop combination. And uh, yeah, so beautiful day, hopefully beautiful beer. The, uh, the bad taste, short sleeve shirts are out in full effect. This one is slightly small for me, so I can't button it up. But I can't remember who said it, but I look like a, a, a pickup artist. I couldn't even pick up a check. Couldn't be further from the truth. Andrew Tate, I am very much not. Neither would I want to aspire to be like Andrew Tate. Anyway, beer in the glass then. And a lovely pulpy, sort of like slightly dark but hazy and light at the same time. What a terrible description that is. Uh, lining of white head, slightly, oh, voice raised, uh, slightly tinged by the colour of the beer. So it will get on the nose. Oh. Obviously very soft citrus aromas. You get that sweet tropical element from the strata giving it a, an ever so slightly coconut-esque sort of aroma. <sighs> smells really, really good. Really, really good indeed. So uh, without any further ado, let's just get tasting it. Cheers, guys. The Citra is the predominant hop for me. Uh, the strata adds more of like a sweetness, but then there's a a little bit of a a puckering bitterness on the back end. It's got that sharp sort of like piffy, not piffy, uh, sharp zestiness of a lime. A little bit of freshly squeezed orange juice. Washing machine getting ever louder. But then a bit tangy towards the back end. Interesting. So a bit sweet, not too much. Bitterness really amps up the more you drink it. It's just another very well brewed IPA from Track. Has it been one of my, my favourites that I've had recently? No, but then again, Track have produced so many, um, as are a lot of other breweries. So just because I wasn't a big fan of this doesn't mean it's a bad beer and doesn't mean, well, we all know that Track is one of the best breweries in the UK. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Definitely worth picking up if you see it. And if you have tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What are your favourite Track beers? What are your favourite hops? Blah, 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 blah. All the information will be <coughs> in the description. Classy. So, uh, yeah, cheers for watching. You all take care, stay safe, and I can't believe it, under 10 minutes again. Bye.